Hello, is anyone there? Hello, hello. I have a lot to show you. I hope that you are here. Let me know if you can hear me and see me today. I'd greatly appreciate it. I am I have a lot. I haven't even I have not even gone through the box yet. So this is definitely going to be an unboxing. Um, I've managed to get the first two items out. Hi Paige. Yay. Can you see me okay today? I'm hoping. <laughs> Hi Nix. Yay. Sorry, I thought I had hit the go live thing and I was sitting here talking to myself getting getting like, well, maybe I need to go back out. And then I noticed the go live button didn't take when I hit it. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. All right, well, then I will give it a minute so people can come back in and then. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. I have a lot, guys, and I will tell you, I was really bad. I still didn't get everything I want and I kind of went into debt for this. So I'll be paying this off over the next few months. <laughs> Uh, yeah, get your get your pen and paper ready. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'll start slow. Um, a couple weeks ago, I bought this stamp set. It's in the annual catalog. And I did that because they are having dies to go with it now. Um, but I was trying to find my, um, my, <laughs> my catalog-y thing. In my celebration because I can't remember if it's in the annual or the celebration it doesn't I don't think it says celebration but I it might be one second please <laughs> so anyway this is current in the annual and oh my gosh there's so many nice things there really is so much so much that's nice one second, and I have not even had a chance to uh, go through everything yet. I think they're in the mini, but don't hold me to that. They don't say celebration on them. I can't remember, but I am going to be referring to my catalog throughout this because I don't know what goes with what yet. <laughs> and uh, I apologize, but I just got this today. So anyway... The Shaded Summer Cling Stamp Set now will have dies to go with it. And I just can't, I don't see them in Celebration, so I think they're in the, in the mini. All right, so this first bunch is a suite. And I got everything except there were memories and more cards and memory, memories and more cards and envelopes that weren't available, but I didn't want them anyway. And this is, um, I don't know the exact name of the suite, but it's gingerbread, frosted gingerbread. So it's photopolymer. There's 11 stamps in here. They're really pretty. And they're shown at 90% image on there. And then the dies um, have an outline die. And then the inner part, I think, cuts into the paper. So you could either just cut into the paper or you can cut it with the outline, that kind of thing. And... There's also a second set of dies, and it's a pillow, pretty pillow box die, and it's actually got a scalloped edge. This is really cute. I almost didn't get this because I just wasn't sure, but I think it's it's a different pillow box than what I've ever seen. So I'm going to add that to my uh, my stash, and it's got a pretty little label and things here. So that'll be nice to go with this too. So gingerbread cookies in snowflakes, ornaments, stars, and bells. Yes, please. And little candies with the circles to go around them. Yes, please. <laughs> and the font is nice. Sending you peppermint kisses. Oh, isn't that cute? You're the icing to my gingerbread. Love that. And then also with this, there is, um, before we get into the paper, there is a craft six by six paper pack. And you get 20 sheets of it. Yeah, gingerbread. Yay. And there's also brand new Adorning Designs Decorative Masks. You know, I love these things. And there's snowflakes. Uh, let's see if I can put these down here. And there's candy cane stripes. And there's, 
I don't know, just a pretty design. Oh, the icing, I guess. That's the icing on the gingerbread. And then this one. I don't know what that is either, but it's cute. <laughs> so pretty new masks that we can play with, which I'm going to go ahead and put right in my drawer so I don't lose them. And then let's look at this paper. Now, I know I have seen other demonstrators show this from the Maui trip which is kind of what made me want to want to get it actually and I know that some of these images work with those dies which is always nice I mean it's good to stamp them but it's also nice that the, the uh, dies work with them that doesn't have anything on it so let's see the colors are cinnamon cider makes sense for gingerbread early espresso old olive and real red Look at the candies. Look at the little mittens and the stars. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's pretty too. So you got, well, there's only three of those. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like three, four. Maybe there's four. There's four of those. And there's four of this one with that. And four puppy dots with the swirly icing. That's cute. And then we have the gingerbread trees and four of those with that one on the other side. Yeah. Hi, Letitia. Welcome. And then there's this icing. Oh, look at this other side, though. Candy. Woohoo. Why is that blurry? And then we have uh, smaller versions of all of them, which do not die cut with the dies, I don't think. And then this one, like a plaid. And then just the cinnamon cider. I actually like this design a lot. And I like that side a lot. Mini candies. <laughs> and then these, maybe these are the ones that cut out. Um, I don't really, yeah, I would say that these are the ones that cut out. Here's, well, bells and, and snowflakes. I don't think the trees, we don't have a die for those. But these cut out definitely. And then here's the bells and the ornament. All right, so it's these two sets of papers that cut out. And then actually these also. So you have ornaments in cinnamon cider and the bells and the reds. And here you have snowflakes and the ornaments in the red and green. So that's kind of neat. You get the variety and those will cut out with it too. And then the other side of that is this. I don't know. Oh, I didn't show this one. That's pretty, too. That's the same design that's on the decorative mass, only it looks like a smaller print, maybe. So really pretty. Ooh, candies. Peppermint candies. And then old olive stripe. And then we have our red and green real red and old olive and then that design so there we have the uh, gingerbread and peppermint six by six designer series paper which i don't have a wrapper for anymore and all the pretty dies and then also in that suite are these um i almost didn't get these but i thought you know what it's something different gingerbread and peppermint acrylic shapes because I kind of was hoping for um, like little whole candies with the white on it. But there are white candies. <laughs> Hang on. There's red and white of everything. Uh, I already showed that. Um, so I guess the little swirlies are the icing. And then there's just little dots in a couple different sizes it looks like. And also this. Uh, I don't know what this is. So they're kind of unusual shapes, but that's okay. Maybe I'll find a use on a card for them, right? They're cute. They're cute. And you get uh, 120 pieces, but some of them are little dots. And then also, now in the, in the catalog, there's two different real red ribbons. I only got this one. Let's see if I can open it. I got the ruched ribbon. The other one, I think, is a sheer ribbon, but don't hold me to that. Like I said, I don't have this catalog memorized. 
Um, so this is, we've had roost ribbon in the past. This seems like an awfully big roll. It is, yeah, real red, mini ruffled ribbon, three eighths in 10 yards. So there you go. I have nowhere to put this stuff. All right, I'm gonna put this down somewhere so that I can go on to the next thing. And the next thing is, um, apparently, there is a suite called Painted Christmas. I got, I don't know, I don't, hang on a second. <laughs> I don't think I got the suite. I think I just got the paper, the ribbon, and these. I really wanted these. Um, but let me just double check. I wish I had my order form here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me go back. Because a couple times I didn't get the whole suite. I just got um, bits of them. And I think this was one of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep, here it is. Okay. Um, so this comes with two different stamp and die sets. I didn't get either one. So in this particular suite, there are two bundles. I didn't get either one of them to start. I might go back. I kind of really wanted them, especially one of them that has some really cool kind of background dies, but I had to draw the line somewhere. So the weird thing is, and you'll see in a minute, this paper, it comes, it comes with cherry cobbler and gold ribbon, but there's no cherry cobbler in this paper, but I got the ribbon anyway, because there's cherry cobbler in another paper and there's no ribbon to go with it. So we'll show you that when we get that far. <laughs> Plus I don't have anything in cherry cobbler as far as ribbon, unless I would use my seam binding and use my stamping right but then it wouldn't have the pretty gold stuff on it so this is probably going to be the only way you can pre-order is if you're a demonstrator uh, this stuff will be available to customers starting august 3rd okay if you want to be able to pre-order you have to be a demonstrator and you can join and you can use the new items in your starter kit. So that would be the only way you could get the things now if you're not a, if you're not a demonstrator yet. Otherwise, August 3rd for customers. These I absolutely had to have. They're in two sizes. They're gold leaves, holly leaves, and they're just called gold holly leaves. <laughs> and they're textured. They're sort of like a stiff fabric with gold on them really pretty i had to have those you get 30 pieces and this this ribbon is really pretty metallic ribbon it's a little wider than our white and gold metallic ribbons we used to have but it's really soft this is really nice i'm glad i got this um and now let's look this is called painted christmas 12 by 12 designer series paper it goes with a suite, like I said, that has two bundles that I don't, I didn't get. You're welcome. You're very welcome. I'd love to have you join under me if you're interested. <laughs> All right. So this is my traditional paper buy. So you get two of each sheet. This is the front. Let me just do it this way. And then, oh, that's pretty. This is the back. I'll tell you the colors once we get through it. But this is real red, not cherry cobbler. So I don't know if you can see the difference. That I think, mm, yeah. So you can tell the roost ribbon will go with this, the other set and this one. But this will go with another set we'll get to later. Okay, so we have pine cones, which is what some of the dies are and the stamps. Um, and I probably will get one of them. I just couldn't get. And this looks like a crumb cake background. So that's pretty cool too. Ooh, the other side's pretty kind of non-traditional. Like um, soft sea foam with holly leaves. 
and then we have pine cones on sort of a almost like a wood a slight wood grain in the background and that'll knock your socks off huh <laughs> that's pretty actually I like that my camera probably doesn't and then this one with more pine branches and regular leaves but you know not everybody celebrates Christmas the way we in the States do not everybody in the States does either that's a pretty nice generic kind of greenery print I really like this one with the reds and the pine needles and the other side is very bright <laughs> um, I guess they're the holly berries right blown up <laughs> In on zoom now let's see the colors for sure and they are calypso coral cherry cobbler crumb cake early espresso evening evergreen garden green pear pizzazz real red soft sea foam and soft succulent so yeah pretty papers I don't know where I'm gonna store all these pretty papers but okay let me get these off of here and I think that's as far as I got as far as taking things out of the box so and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold I don't know I know this is another suite so let me just bring it up but I don't know what page it's on um, and I'm going out of order then let me just see something all right um, well if I go in order the next thing would be some specialty paper <laughs> I'll do that at the end. Let's just look at this. There is paper, I think, that goes with this too. This is called Peaceful Cabin. And it, I'm pretty sure, is a sweet. Hang on. Hang on. I'll tell you. Sorry, I'm a little discombobulated. I should have maybe taken a little extra time. But I was so excited. I had to do this now. All right. I know what page it's on. So let me go look that page let me go look at that page here it is oh nope that's not it yet all right this is called <sighs> one more okay I think I found it peaceful place sweet collection I got the whole suite um and it comes with the peaceful cabin bundle which is what i was starting to show you and it's gorgeous i hope i can do it justice so you've got your trees and your cabin in this snow scene a little fox um may you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season you know it's not just Christmas it's winter kind of thing so that that's another reason I liked it but it would make really nice Christmas cards look at the little fence here too awesome and then this is sort of a curved fence I guess yeah from the stamp set anyway really pretty that one will be a little more involved and I'll have to play with that a little more and they these are cling stamps and you get 11 of them and then to go with that, let me find them, because they're pretty. <laughs> okay, we have this, and also this. And Okay, and then there's an embossing folder, hang on. Okay, so we have, all right, let's do that first. And I think there's a ribbon too. Yep. Okay. I got everything now. All right. Um, okay. So let's do this first. <laughs> Peaceful place. Only three people watching. I'm sad. All right. This is called Timber 3D Embossing Folder. Is that the right one? Yes. So this is a, a six by six one. It's large and it basically looks like that timber a little different than the bark one that we already have the bark one just adds a texture where this adds a wood grain like timber 
that goes with that. Then we have this snowy white 12 by 12 velvet sheet. Yeah, the stamp is really pretty. And these are similar to the red velvet sheets we had for the poinsettias, but they're in a sort of a creamy white. It's not a bright white. It's really soft. I'm not going to be able to do it justice. Mm, sometimes if I turn the light down. No, that didn't help at all. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, two sheets of those snowy white velvet sheets. They'd also look nice if you want to use the poinsettia set, which carried over. Um, they would look nice with that, too. And then the paper. Oh, it's called Peaceful Place 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. The colors are basic black, basic gray, and smoky slate. So, I need to save that wrapper. Um, here we go. I don't know, can you see the sparkle? So, I like Christmas cards and things that, holiday cards that have the sparkle and like just the silvers and stuff. And this is the other side. So, the other side does not have sparkle. Those are the two sides. Thank you, Leticia. That would be great. Um, and then there's this one, which also has shimmer on it, which I'm not going to be able to show you, I don't think. It's not showing up very good. There's a little bit. And then the other side of that is like this now this is interesting because it's like they have they have it actually you can actually see a line on it to cut it in four so you could make a six by six mini album you could make six by six cards with this easily because it's actually you can see where the tree kind of goes square there's a line going down there and across there i have never seen them do that and in the background, you probably can't see it, but there are like snow topped mountains back here and the foreground's just snow. Very pretty. And then the other side is like trees. Yeah, it is really pretty. Gorgeous is the word. And then this is the basic gray with silver and white, the silver sparkly just of course does not want to show up on my camera and then the other side is like buffalo check only in gray and then this matches the timber embossing folder but it's silver on dark gray the base gray. oh I like this one too like your tree lines you could really just cut a little bit of that out and make a scene super pretty and then this is, I don't know, just an all over pattern. And it's got some like, like um, darker gray splatter with the silver. And oh, there's your cabins. Look, a little A-frame even. Oh, and this is like in the stamp set, this one. Really pretty, of course. In case you don't know, I live in a little house. It's not a cavern, but it's pretty close. <laughs> it's a cottage. And here's another one where I guess now this one, because it's got white down here, you could almost cut that off and then cut this part in half and then in, in pieces again. And you have, you know, four to six cards that way. Oops, I forgot. And this side is just an all over design and that is it for the peaceful something <laughs> um peaceful place 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper and then there's one more part that goes with this and um i'm not going to open this right now because i struggle to open them but this is Glittered organdy ribbon, like our black one that looks like this, 
only it's in white with the glitter on it. So I don't know if you can see that at all. You, know, you can see some glitter in there, right? So that is what that is like. But I'm not going to open it right now. All right. So that's that. <sighs> I know, right, Paige? Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to know what to use first. I'll tell you what. And then I don't know what sweet this goes with, but I have it sitting here. Candy cane all over cling stamp set. Let me um, kind of be going through the mini again a little bit. I got out of order here. Oh, I have a standalone. Oh, something else that will go with that. But it's not part of the sweet. You know, they just retired our silver foil. And... They have a new silver foil 12 by 12 inch specialty pack, but it's not the same as just a regular foil. Hang on. It has three different sort of patterns or textures to it. So I hope I can show it. Can you see the lines in it? It's like a brushed, it almost has, it's a dark gray silver. But it almost has like, oop, there I am, uh, has like a, almost like a purpley look to it because it's, I don't know, it's different. It's like a dark gray purpley almost. And then this is a real smooth brushed satin. I'll call that one satin. <laughs> and then this one also is brushed, but it's probably the closest one to our original silver foil which i have some left but it it also has more of a brushed look to it so it is different you just get those three sheets in the oops in the pack that one's really cool i think that's going to be my favorite because it just has a different this one even it's gray but it has sort of a purpley hue to it so yeah really pretty and I think that would go really nicely with that last set, the cabin set that we just looked at. Now I'm looking for an individual stamp set I had out, but I must have put it away. Okay. That actually is on the same page as this. This is a standalone stamp set, but it goes with the Encircled in Friendship dies. So that's why I got that. You can see these are kind of circular some of them so this says warm christmas wishes joyful season you warm my heart i really like that one let it snow and wishing you love joy and happiness this coming year i like that one too so nice stamp set only five stamps it's a cling red rubber but nice sentiments you always need more sentiments for the holidays right okay so Okay, the next one is a sweet, and I think I got most everything in this. So I did. Let me just find it. <laughs> I have to find it. Oh, boy. Avalanche. Ooh. Mm. Sorry, I wish I was a little more. Oh, here's part of it. Here's part of it. Okay. This one's called. <clears throat> whimsy and wonder sweet collection it has this bundle and there's um i did open these already it has two sets of dies in it and 10 stamps this is also cling and i like this because well, when you see the paper it's more modern the trees are more modern it's got the like the tinsel -y garland stuff already you can put on the tree or the snow cap covering it's just a different type of tree. You know, we have all these regular trees, but this one's more modern. And then it also has um, Blushing Bride Frayed Grow Grain Ribbon, which is a really pretty pink. Can you tell it's not going to be traditional? So it has sort of a fluffy stuff on the edge. We've had something like that before, but that's really pretty. And then there is the paper. And I think this is it. Nope. Hang on. Here it is. All right. Let me read you the colors. It's Blushing Bride, Crumb Cake, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Polished Pink. 
So for all you pink ladies, hi, Chris. Yay. For all you pink people, here we go. This is the non-traditional Christmas paper. And the first piece of paper I love it is pink with these beautiful silvered iridescent -y snowflakes. They're iridescent. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. And then there's this. You can put the stripes either way. Bright colors, right? Here's your non-traditional holly with pink and mint macaron. And it's foiled also in that sort of iridescence kind of thing. Polished pink on the back. <laughs> and then we have the whimsical trees with the iridescent stars and garland and snow. And mint macaron on the back. And look how pretty these presents are. Now, I usually am a traditional Christmas person, but I think this paper is gorgeous. <laughs> and there, if you want traditional, there you go. Mossy Meadow with a bit of polished pink instead of uh, real red. Really pretty. And I like the misty moonlight in it, too. And then we have just a silver stripe. Really pretty. I don't know if it's silver or iridescent. I, it looks silver when I'm looking down on it. Mossy Meadow on the back for tradition. And then we have these pretty ornaments and misty moonlight. There's little modern trees and stars tone on tone. But look how pretty. Oh, look at that. That's so gorgeous. Oh, look at this little deer. I didn't even see that in the catalog. I'll tell you what, the catalog does not do these justice. It has a tiny little deer face and roses and stuff in these ornaments. Super cute. These remind me of, uh, I still have some actually. My family had those old like German blown glass and they're indented. And you'd have a like a design on the inside. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Gorgeous paper. That is called Whimsy and Wonder 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. Pink and snowflakes. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? Who would not love that? I love that. Well, maybe a guy might not, but you know, I don't know. Guys might now. Um, okay, so I'm trying to kind of look through the oh, okay. This next one for me was a must-have. It's a bundle. Let me get rid of this first. <laughs> it's a, just a bundle. Trying, I'm putting stuff on my floor. I'm going to have a big mess. And it's called Peaceful Deer and the bundle oops, is a punch. A deer punch. Now, I have deer in my backyard very often. So this is the Deer Builder Punch, and these are at 80%, so they're photopolymer. I am thinking it goes with that one right there, and this one right here, and that's it. So those two deer, this one and this, so the jumping deer is what it goes with. And there are two little antlers, and I guess that little dot is meant to be its nose. I have no idea, Paige. <laughs> I have no idea. I have to come up with a plan and plan it out. Um, it, it might not be the Christmas stuff, actually. We haven't even gotten to some other stuff. So anyway, that is the, it's called the Peaceful Deer Bundle. And I'm going to jump ahead because in celebration, guess what? There's paper you can get. I think it's for a $50 U.S. Um, order. You can get this paper for free during the August 3rd, um, the month of August. I think it's August and September. While supplies last. Celebration this time um, is only going to be while supplies last. So I would suggest once the catalog is live to you guys, Get your order in quickly and get your celebration items quickly because the ones you want might not be there if you wait too long. So these, I'm pretty sure, 
will punch out with this also. So a buffalo plaid, they will, except I can't reach them. Um, they will. I can see the size is right, but um, yeah. And on the other side is the red and black. Now, I happen to love red and black together. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> Play craft date. Uh-oh. Callie, you can't come in. <laughs> There's no room. The box is in the way. Don't jump in the box. There's stuff in there. So this is like birch trees. Only it's not shiny or anything. This is regular paper. And then we have red and um, looks like crumb cake stripes. If my eyes aren't playing a game on me. They very well could be. Alrighty. Then we have, there's like a plaid in the background with white snowflakes on top. And there's the plaid that's in the background um, on the back. And then we have your, your little Christmas trees. And the Christmas trees, the larger ones, well, the darker ones are like a plaid too. But the back on that is just a polka dot all over, kind of a snow. That looks like garden green to me. I'm not for sure. And this has some unusual snowflakes. And like, um, sort of looks like pine needles going in a row, almost like a herringbone print, but in pine needles. And then here's some miniature deer in whatever color this is. I think it might be Sahara sand, actually. And I'll tell you in a minute. And then this uh, plaid on the back. Wait, what? The catalogs went out they um should arrive before the end of july but i don't know when i didn't get mine yet <laughs> i'm going off the one that i had to print um so this is a celebration item even though it doesn't say it and the colors are basic black cherry cobbler garden green real red and sahara sand so this coordinates with the deer punch and the peaceful deer bundle the punch is the bundle and this not part of a suite and this is celebration okay i need to put that somewhere else and move this all right let me turn the page um okay i don't think i got this next one so i'm gonna skip over that i'm gonna get that make sure i didn't get that okay next one i love i had to get this um, I have to find the dies. Hang on. Uh, here they are. And what else came with it? This one's called the Sweet Stockings Collection. Okay, we have some gems to go with this one. Uh, I think these are it, right? Mm, yep. And paper and ribbon. All right. I think I got it all. All right. Well, you know, I had to get it because of that right there. And the paper has a tuxedo cat in it. And I have a tuxedo cat, so I had to get it. It's hurting you, the paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, floral stamps. I know, really. Well, I'll have a craft play date with you. Okay, so these are the dies that go with it. These are called the stockings dies. It has this big stitched piece that you can just put on your card, I guess. Or it almost looks like you could have a house, a little house, and like a pet house with it or something. But all these dies cut out the stockings, the little animal faces. The doggy's cute, too. And my friend... Sue has a blonde dog that looks like that. I don't know. I think she's in two kinds of dogs. But Christmas greetings. Santa Paws is coming to town. Peace, joy, and kisses. <laughs> My, I used to have a Shih Tzu years ago, and he was always full of kisses. That's for sure. And a little hat, Santa hat, and candy cane, and presents. And this stamps them out, all out. Plus, it looks like we have some trims for the toes and heels of the stockings and stuff in here that are stitched so that'll be fun to play with too and then we have the paper 
And the paper is actually what really got me on this one. I didn't get the last pet paper, but I got this one. Hang on. I love that dog, even though I'm a I'm an animal lover, actually, not just a cat lover, but I only have a cat because that's all I can handle. <laughs> I don't have a room for fenced in yard or whatever. So the cat is coming out of the present. Like you it was good. And I do have these this year, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a doghouse. Right. That's what I was thinking. It could be a doghouse. And then the back is Cherry Cobbler. Remember I said there was a paper that that Cherry Cobbler ribbon would go with? Well, it's not in this suite, but look how good that goes with that. So get the Cherry Cobbler ribbon, even if you think it doesn't go with that other suite, because it goes with this one, even though it's not part of this suite. <laughs> And the stockings on here are Cherry Cobbler. And there's my kitty cat making trouble in the little stocking. And there's also a little doggy with the same coloring. So cute, cute, cute. Look at that cat with its ears flattened out. Oh, my gosh. And that mouse with big ears. So cute. And then this, I don't know what this is. What is this, a groundhog? Chipmunk? I don't know. Some little critter. So cute. And then the back of that is gorgeous. That's a really pretty print. It has like, looks like pool party, cherry cobbler, maybe bumblebee, some kind of green. And I don't know what that other color is. And <laughs> the cat with the antlers and the dog with the wreath. So cute. And a little bird carrying the, the Christmas cards. So cute. And the back of that is cherry cobbler and white and then these stockings i saw somebody else checking this but i um, pretty sure both these stockings cut out these yeah yeah so these cut out the different sizes of the stockings there you go so you can have all three if you get a lazy day like i do sometimes you can cut them out right from the paper. I like that Stampin' Up! does that. Let me see what's on the other side. It looks like evening evergreen with bumblebee and white stars all over. Really dark. Then my kitty playing with ornaments. Yes, yes. And a goldfish. And there's a little, what is that, a Scotty dog? Or a, maybe a corgi because it's got short legs. I don't know. We saw a corgi in the park the other day. Two of them, actually. So, yeah. Super cute, but that is definitely my cat. <laughs> Playing with ornaments. Mm -hmm. And greens. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I really like this. All these Christmas lights, all tangled up paper. Ooh, and that's a real pretty pool party background. So the colors in this are basic black bumblebee, cherry cobbler, cinnamon cider, evening evergreen, old olive, and pool party. And the ribbon that they have to go with it is pool party, striped grow green ribbon. I'm not going to open it. You can kind of see that, right? It's pool party white, pool party white, pool party, and... Uh, yeah, 3 8 inch, 10 yards. And then there's these. Um, they don't list the colors on here, but they are Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Evening Evergreen, and Old Olive. And they're ombre. They're called matte decorative dots. And they are matte. Really liking all these different like enamel dots and stuff they have. These have a little more height to them than the playing with patterns ones did. Mine are starting to slide off here, but they sort of fade like darker to lighter in all the sizes. See, they're darker up there and they fade. Darker and they fade. Pretty. I like them. I like them. How many packs of this paper we <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I have enough paper page that one of each only, and some of it, I don't even think I got it all, all the paper. I might have. I don't know. I can't remember. 
Oh, no, I didn't because there's one I wanted, but for our market, it wasn't available. But I did see a demonstrator in Australia show it. So their market must have it already. Uh, ours was not available yet. Didn't get over all the way to the States. So that is the um, Sweet Stockings Sweet Collection. Let me see what's next. And it's possible I'll miss stuff and have to go back. Okay, then we have just some specialty paper. Um, um, I don't know where it is. Maybe I didn't get it. There's, uh, there's a brushed metallic specialty paper. I don't think I got that. Oh, because I already have it. That's a carrier. Who do I know as an Aussie? It was Linda... Linda Dante. Oh, you're going to like the next one. It's another bundle. It's called Penguin Place. And it comes with a Penguin Builder Punch. So cute. So cute. Um, so this is not a sweet. It's just a bundle. But it's adorable. Cute little penguins with their little feet. This one's sitting. You can put its feet there. Put antlers or a hat and a scarf on. Has a little fishing pole for fishing in the ice. And some more little feet and bow ties. And all kinds of little noses and stuff and hearts. I like you a lot. -le. That's like a little only a lot. Lots of thanks. Be cool. Be chill. Be merry. To the coolest friend ever. It's like a little except a lot. Oh, that's a, I like you a lot. It's like a little except a lot. Happy birthday and season's greetings. And guess what? We also have paper in the celebration to go with it. As in this cute. This is another one I believe is for a $50 purchase. But don't hold me to that. I don't want to cut the paper. So the colors that go with this are... Basic Black, Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Fresh Freesia, that's the purpley color you were seeing, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, and Soft Sea Foam. So again, some non-traditional colors. Look at the little fox even. You got your little happy penguin and your fox and the polar bear. This is the Fresh Freesia color. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. The penguin. This has more little trees and with, um, what color did they say? Soft sea foam? Yes, soft sea foam. This little penguin, I'm going to venture a guess will work with the punch because it's just like this one, but it's got its feet already attached. Yes. I love that little fox. Look at that. And the polar bear is cute too. This is cute paper. So this is a celebration item. This I think is just jade. It's just like an all over pattern here's more of the foxes saying hello to the snowman and the birdie you got a penguin and just cuteness the blue in it is misty moonlight just jades i think i said cinnamon cider i don't know i can't remember <laughs> the purple is fresh freezer and yeah misty moonlight on the back yeah, I like that lot. I'll probably use that a lot. <laughs> a lot. -o. I'll use it a lot. <laughs> so cute. He's doing jumping jacks or making snow angels. Isn't that how you spread your arms and legs to make snow angels, right? So cute. That's what I'm um, sticking to that story. There's the back. Woohoo. Totally non traditional colors there. Oh, now they're sledding and going down the hill and having some fun. In the green snow. <laughs> uh, and we have the fresh freesia. Super pretty. That's one of the in colors. And then we have the background with the pale misty moonlight. And now we have a little bunny in here too. So cute. And the birdies bring in the hat to put on the snowman. And the polar bears help them build the snowman along with the penguin. Just adorable. Adorbs. And... All the colors that are in the paper, polka dot kind of thing. Snow, snow polka dots. Yeah, right, exactly. It can be winter, that's for sure. It can be winter fun. Absolutely. So that 
the paper is celebration with a $50 purchase. And if you buy the bundle, you're not quite at 50, but if you get it in another bundle, you'll be there and you can get it. Unless you want the um, gear paper too, and then you have to buy $100 worth. But wait, there's more. Okay, let me see what's next. <laughs> I'm trying to go, okay, I didn't get that one. The red and green foil sheets are coming back. Oh, I already showed you the candy cane thing. We did the peaceful place, which is the cabin. There is a polar bear bundle. I didn't get it. Uh, there's a bobbles bundle. I don't think I got. Hang on. Mm, I don't think so. No, I'm not seeing it. Mm -hmm. The red velvet paper is coming back. For Unto Us is a stamp set that carried over. Um, Angels of Peace. I was going to get. I might have had to put that into second order. I don't see that in here. All right. Uh, let's see what this is. Merriest moments. I don't think I got that either. Okay. The next suite I wanted is called Blackberry Beauty. And this is the one that the paper was not available yet. But I got everything else. So it's called Beauty of Tomorrow and Beautiful Leaves, guys. Beautiful. I really like it. It has a lot of Blackberry Bliss in it, and I thought it was really cool and different. And um, I did, it does have um, Gold Shimmer Vellum, which I think I did get. Yes. And some um, ephemera pack and gold shimmer ribbon, which I got also. Okay. I have everything except the paper, and I'm going to get it as soon as it comes in. Well, I definitely want the paper to go with this. It's the one thing. Yeah, I have a priority two, but i, I got to pay some of this off before I get priority two. Except for the paper and, of course, the in-color dots that are back in. And I really have to check my cardstock soon but also one thing as a demonstrator we get some other perks that we don't really advertise like if you retain certain titles for the quarter you get some um it's like coupons towards order so the end of quarter was june 30th so i have a little bit of stuff i can spend so my second Part, part of my second order is going to be covered. Um, so anyway, this, these are the beautiful leaves dies. Um, the stamp set's okay. This would make nice background. It says the changing of leaves reminds us that new wonders are just around the corner. Isn't that the truth? I know this is a difficult day. You're one of those people. Oh, some people are just likable. You're one of those people. And... I know this is a difficult day. I'm here for you. So nice sentiments. I really like that bird. Um, so this is a bundle. And look at this background leaf set of leaves. It's like oak leaves. And it's all oak leaves. Like a pile of oak leaves. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then some individual oak leaves. And then these cut out the, the bird and the other diagram diagrams in here and then I have to show you this next because there was something in here that caught my eye and I kept looking for it in the paper and I couldn't see it and then I realized it was in the ephemera pack it's called blackberry beauty ephemera pack so the paper has a lot of like this in it but this has gold and see the oak leaves around it on the labels and things and there's frames here it's not just there's like layers here the owl I wanted that owl so bad <laughs> and then here we have oak leaves with acorns in them I love acorns too and just some nice labels oh there's two of them yay it might be three excuse me I take a sip of tea <laughs> yeah that thigh is gorgeous I can't wait to play with that that might be one of my first things Except that I really want the paper to be in. I'm mad that Australia could get it and we couldn't. 
has a black dot on that, but there's some gold pieces in it. So that is it. Six, six pages of ephemera. Love the owl. Love those oak leaves there. Love the, I'm loving Blackberry Bliss. I don't, you know, it's like, I didn't like it when I first saw it. I'm going to put these back in here. Um, but it really grew on me because it's a very classy looking color, I think. I say I'm going to put these back in here. There they go. And then the also, you know how we have shimmer vellum in the um, in colors. So this suite also has a gold one. A gold shimmer vellum, if I can get my hands on it. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle. It is vellum. And it's gold. So those leaves in this gold shimmer vellum. <laughs> going to be gorgeous and layered over like blackberry bliss or something yes please yes 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 right next so but the paper i can't show you but um it sort of has this kind of coloring it's like black let me see the color list polished pink blackberry bliss rich raspberry early espresso cinnamon cider and gold the paper is a specialty paper too I can't wait to get my hands on that. <laughs> that might have been my favorite paper other than the new modern-y stuff in the whole in the whole catalog. So that is that kind of sweet. And I think uh, yeah, there were no embellishments that go with that, but there are embellishments that will go with that. All right, let me see what's next. I didn't get that one. Okay, I think I got this one too. I got more leaves. You know, I just like fall on leaves. Um, 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 there it is. So this one's called, this is just a bundle. It's called Gorgeous Leaves. It comes with dyes. And, you know, it sort of has backgroundy stuff. And they're sort of splattery leaves. Like they're, I don't know. Like they're fraying at the edges they're different for stamping and maybe watercolor is a better way to put it and it comes with these intricate leaves dies and i'm kind of anxious to see these because i kept thinking like intricate petals for the flowers you have a branch you, yeah you do have these detailed dies here so they'll be interesting and then these cut out i guess that and this and this one cuts this and the rest is just extras so intricate leaves dies this is a bundle gorgeous leaves oops i did that wrong i try and put them so that the label is on the opening part until i get i don't always put them on um Magnet sheets until I know I'm going to keep them forever and ever and ever. Or I use them all the time. Okay, let me see what's next. I didn't get that one. And I thought about that one, but I didn't get it. Okay, next we're on to Halloween. So, cute Halloween sweet collection. Um, has a punch and a stamp. I did not get last year's Halloween, but I like cute, and it has a cat face, so I had to get it. I'm not a big Halloween person. I'm not a, I don't like scary Halloween at all, but I do like cute. And here's the punch. It actually punches out the ghost. First, I looked at that. I'm like, what is that? It's the ghost, <laughs> the cat face, and the pumpkin. So I'm sure you probably have to do a template with this um, and in order to stamp these in the right order. It looks like two-step stamping. You get all kinds of silly faces. You get candy corn. Have a fabulous Halloween. Treat yourself. Trick or treat. Put a smile on my face and hey boo. Cute little whiskers. Scary. Not even a scary spider. I don't like spiders, but that's not a scary spider. Anyway. So that is the, the bundle. Oh, I forgot to show you that ribbon in the other suite. Sorry, this goes with the Blackberry. Well, you can kind of see it. It's a 
it's a shimmer ribbon with gold on the edges it's a gold ribbon with gold on the edges and it's sort of woven that goes with the blackberry leaves thing all right so there's more to this uh sweet there is a new tombstone box i wasn't really going to get too many boxes but i kind of like these and i'm not going to put it together now because i have not done it yet oh that is just the top anyway it's a tombstone with a rounded edge like that and pretty good size i'd say yeah and you get how many um eight eight adhesive boxes and they are food safe and then we have the paper adorables <laughs> hi marla yes right exactly you probably could like swirling wind and leaves i don't know i'm sure we could figure something out <laughs> And I, there's not, there is another pumpkin set. I didn't get it. I didn't really care for it that much, but um, that's a cute pumpkin jack-o'-lantern kind of thing. So here's your swirly ghost. Look how cute. It even has little pink cheeks. I think this color is Highland Heather, black and pumpkin pie, of course. And I'm sure there's other colors. And this is what's on the side. Lots of booze. And here's our cat face and cute little jack-o'-lantern. Even the cat is smiling. <laughs> so cute. And black and white stripes. So it's looking like it's going to be black and white on the other side. I really like this all over polka dot, which we had on another paper too. But in all the pretty colors. And yep, black and white candies and candy corn that you can color in however you want. Oh, look, we have pink, non-traditional, a little vampire bat. Cute, cute. I don't like bats, but we need to have them, right? And that's pretty much kind of solid black. So if you like scary, you can use the black and make anything scary that you want. Here's just orange and black stripes. And on the other side is more black and white dot and gray, black and white and gray. And then we have silly skeleton faces with a bird and a tombstone. So I can handle this. And that's white with gray stripes. And then we have the traditional haunted house kind of thing. And that looks like old olive. And, and then these are miniature bats, skeletons, pumpkins, ghosts. I don't see the cat face on that one. And then lastly, we have this little mini stripe in all the various colors. And scritchy scratch. <laughs> scritchy scratch. Ugh. Amelia, hi. Welcome. So the colors in this cute Halloween 6x6 six six designer series paper. Basic black. Flirty Flamingo. Oh, that pink was Flirty Flamingo on here. That makes sense. Highland Heather, which was the first paper. Anywhere there was purple. Old Olive and Pumpkin Pie. Yeah, that might be my favorite one. Plus, the pink is cute, too. So, Stampin' Up! doing a lot of pink this time. And let's see, there's some other things I didn't show yet. It comes with these cute stars adhesive back sequins in uh, Highland Heather Pumpkin Pie and Shimmery Black. Now I have to open them because it says Shimmery Black. I don't know. They just look shiny to me. They all look shiny. They do have an iridescent quality to them. I don't really, they just look shiny to me, unless my eyes are just not seeing it. And one more thing. Um, this black and white gingham, which you could use for anything besides Halloween too. But, we, you know, that should have been a clue that the paper had black and white, right? On the back. Okay, this is a skinnier. It's like a quarter inch. 
Yep, quarter inch gingham ribbon, 10 yards. Isn't that pretty? And it's real, um, sort of has a shiny texture to it, but it's not like thick, it's soft. You can see it bending, right? Pretty, pretty. You can see the iridescence on the Highland. Yeah, you did on the Highland Heather. I didn't really see it on the, on the black. All right, I'm going to just sit that over there for now. And the punch, because I don't want to put that on the floor and move this stuff out of the way. Okay. I'm out of room, and I'm not done. Let's see what's next. I did get another Halloween set. And it comes with dies, too. Let me find them. Okay. It's called Frightfully Cute. Because I thought it was cute. And it's got potion bottles, the flying witch, the moon kind of thing, the bat, a little pumpkin, and a little kitty who could be batting at the spider. Which way to the candy? Less trick and more treating. Treating. You're so scared. You're so sweet. It's scary. Batty for you. Yeah. And happy Halloween to you and frightfully cute. But the dyes, the dyes are what got me on this one, I think. Really. The spider web, the witch's hat, this cuts out the moon, there's an owl, there's a fence, um, there's a label, a tag. This is called Frightful Tags Dyes. Some stars, which, you know, you could cut out of that gold shimmer paper we just saw a little bit ago. <laughs> and a branch that you can have the owl sit on, I guess. Or the cat if you make them climb the tree. <laughs> anyway. How about, hi, Cindy. I didn't see you come in. I know, right? The Halloween stuff. I really like it this year. Some people said they didn't, but I, I liked it better. Last year seemed like a more mature Halloween and kind of scary. And I didn't, I didn't care for it, but I, and I didn't get it, but I got this one. So, and most of those sentiments in there that were long, use those labels to cut them out. The black glitter paper is coming back. Now there's another Halloween in here that has kind of big fat cats. I didn't get that one. All right. I did get this next one. It's called the Harvest Meadow. I lie. I got part of it. Harvest Meadow Sweet Collection. I actually don't think I got the bundle. But I got other stuff from it. So, see, I was, I don't know. I was kind of weird. It, it sort of goes with the, I got the paper, the special. I got everything except the bundle on this. So, this is called the Time Worn Type 3D Embossing Folder. Now, I don't know. It's best to look at it on here. It's got, like, letters in it. But like it's already torn or it's aged. I like this a lot. We used to have words, but I like this one better because it, it automatically looks aged. So really cool. And I think this will go with like the Quiet Meadows collection. Um, no, yeah, these go with it too. And these will actually work with that Blackberry Beauty suite too. They're like um, brushed metallic adhesive back dots. And they call these bronze, must be this one, copper and gold. The bronze to me almost looks like it would go with like an old olive. Um, and they are kind of a brush. They're really cool. Mine are sliding all over the place. But because it's hot, <laughs> I'm sure. But there you go. And how many do you get? You get 90 of them in four millimeter and five millimeter, and they're not two dimensional. See, they're a little bit dimensional, but not a lot. Hi, Hildy. So I like those. And then I did get the paper. So hang on. But I thought the bundle, just my opinion, it's pretty, but I think I can actually do what it wants to do with my Quiet Meadow bundle I already have. Um, it does have like an echinacea flower or something on it. Oh, and this I wanted to see. This is a specialty paper. And it looks like cork, but it's paper. 
Uh, it's called Cork 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. You get two sheets of it. And it's sort of like a like a handmade paper feel on the back. It has a rough texture. But on this side, you can sort of see the rough texture through it. Because I actually think it is cork, but it's shaved real thin and laid over the top of that rough handmade paper. It is really cool. I can think that's going to be really nice for some fall and Thanksgiving projects. And let me put that away. And you get two sheets of it. That's called Quirk 12 by 12 specialty paper. Out of room, out of room. And then the designer paper is called Harvest Meadow 12 by 12. I like meadow flowers and stuff. I just had to draw the line somewhere on the, the cost, you know, and I already still spent way too much for, for me, for my unestablished business, too, but oh well. So this has bumblebee, Cajun craze, crumb cake, misty moonlight, soft succulent. This is misty moonlight, obviously, really pretty. I love that sheet of paper. Love it. There's your bumblebee. And crumb cake, really nice. It sort of has like a vintagey look too, like you can see in the background, sort of splatters. There's your calypso coral, and it looks like coral, so you could even use that for your summer um, ocean beachy themes with this crumb cake and the coral. Then we have some script on an old paper like. And here's some meadow plants, really pretty. And then here's your harvest wheat kind of thing. Woo, I don't knock your socks off. That's bumblebee with, um, is it bumblebee? What did I say? Yes, bumblebee and Cajun craze is this part. And misty moonlight and white in that one. It almost looks like pumpkin pie, but it's not. And then this beautiful misty moonlight also. You know, I love my blues. That looks like Calypso Coral, not Cajun Craze. I don't know. I'm going to say there might be Calypso Coral in here, but it doesn't say that on here. Let me see if it says it in the catalog. Yes, this is Calypso Coral. I think there's a misprint on the back of the paper. It's not Cajun Craze. It is Calypso Coral. And that's what's in the catalog. The catalog says Calypso Coral, Bumblebee, Soft Succulent, which is the green we saw earlier. And um, Misty Moonlight and Crumb Cake. There's more Crumb Cake. Looks like... Um, Pussy willow branches almost, as, or snow on branches. And then this is soft succulent with calypso coral, bumblebee, and mist and light, and kind of a geometric sort of like medallion design. That's really pretty. I like stuff like that because I'm just weird that way. This paper pack is called Harvest Meadow 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. When you get your catalog, it'll be on page 55. <laughs> I can't show you the catalog yet, but, you know. Um, and it's part of the, it's part of the Harvest Meadow Sweet Collection, which has, you know, I already showed the um, embossing folder, the cork. Oh, I showed you the dots. It also has this ribbon, which is... Um, a textured, what's it called? Diamond weave ribbon. So I got everything but the bundle because I'm going to use it with my quiet meadow bundle instead. And here's what the ribbon looks like. And it is textured. That's going to be a favorite. I will like this for doing things like ATCs and index cards, altered index cards, stuff like that. Yep, I love that. Okay, let me see what's next. I'm out of room. I'm out of room. There is more. <laughs> uh -huh, there is more. 
I might have to get that bundle. I don't know. The heartwarming hugs paper did come back from last year. So I still have that and we'll be using it too. That is your traditional, um, they don't even tell you, but it's real red, your greens, that kind of stuff. Heartfelt wishes I got. I just, I've been wanting a stamp set that had like the swirly lines with the words. So I got one now. It's a cling stamp set with 10. Merry Christmas, happiest holidays, much gratitude, sending love, cheers, and a happy new year from our family to you and yours. This wondrous season and heartfelt wishes. So you have kind of your any outy sentiments. That's a standalone stamp set. Um, I think I got this next one too, and it's a bundle. And it is called, where's the dies? It's called Sparkle of the Season. Love that. This kind of replaces that last wreath thing that we had. I don't remember the name of that retired. Um, this makes wreaths for Halloween, fall, Christmas, Thanksgiving. So here are the dies. You have your little pumpkins, you've got leaves, you've got a witch's broom, um, dots for the berries, and you have three separate dies. This one has stars, this one has like your um, greenery for like pine needles, and this one has leaves. And you have a little bat in here too. So pretty cute. And then it also, it, it can be used for Happy Halloween. Thankful for you, grateful for Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, may the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home. So you can use it for any occasion. It also has a little pine cone. So, yep, I had to get that because it's usable for three different things. So, very nice bundle. And that is called Sparkle of the Season. Okay, let's see, and I got the next one too, I think, yep, this is just a standalone stamp set, but again, it's called Little Delights, these, these are kind, they don't always carry over, we had one similar that did carry over, and I have it, um, it's called Banner Year, Banner Year, I think, but this is similar to that, only a bigger fonts. Merry Christmas, trick or treat, ho, 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 birthday wishes, you're such a blessing. And then again, you have bats, leaves, like uh, I guess that's mistletoe. There's also a thank you and ghoulish delights and a Christmas bulb and a birthday hat kind of thing or a New Year's, I guess. No, it would be birthday with birthday wishes. So just kind of an all around seasonal stamp set. Standalone. All right. Now, let's see. There is another one I didn't get that has a cabin called Reflected in Nature. All right. This next one I got. I'm pretty sure. Mm, maybe not. Mm. Did I? Yes. Here it is. Oh, wrong guys, Deb. We're getting there. The bottom of the box is coming soon. This is called Time of Giving. It's a bundle. And the dies are called Giving Gifts. It's another one that has several different seasons. I probably got too many of those type, but oh well. <laughs> I like those leaves. And the font is nice and bold. And this is why I got this. You know how we have those squares with the design in them? Well, this one has the sleigh with the reindeer. And these cut into your paper. Uh, this has snowflakes. It has hanging ornaments. And it has pumpkins. So, and then it also has these leaves. And these leaves, which actually cut out this image. Um, and a snowflake here. And then you just have some things you can stamp as well. And this wheat looks like it cuts out. Christmas cheer throughout the year. 
season's greetings thankful mary and boo so i got it mostly because of these dies <laughs> so this is called the time of giving bundle and the stamp set didn't wow me at first but when i started looking at it more closely i just had to have those dies so i thought those were really pretty special they're going to be like the squares that cut out the images only you've got winter christmas thanksgiving or halloween and christmas again with the ornaments so yeah time of giving all right let's see what's next all right i got that one too um there are two sentiment stamps on one page i only got one of them and it's called thinking thanks and peace you know how we have like two sets in the in the annual catalog that have big print and this one is another one but sending thanks i need that all the time peace on earth i love that and thinking of you i can use all the time and just a cute little boo down here so i got this for the large sentiments it's a standalone uh cling stamp set there's only the four stamps one two three and four that wheat is on there but if you didn't want that you could mask it off and just set do the sending things oh you're right marla that other one the think uh the giving one would definitely make good shakers behind there if you use some window sheet behind it okay let me see what's next okay <clears throat> The box is empty, but I still have stuff over to my right to show you. I got this one, Festive and Bright. Uh, and it has dies, Festive Finishes dies as well. And it's another one. It has, I guess these could be apples for Thanksgiving, right? Or peaches. You could use this with the peach set, maybe. Make them peaches. Witches, hats, and brooms. And... Um, pine needles with light bulbs in a little hanging spider blessed for Thanksgiving festive and bright spooky greetings and to and from and let's look at the dies because I really didn't get a good look at these okay okay so how I'm seeing this is these will cut out the edges like you can stamp these and you don't have to cut them out but let's see if i can show on here i think this is the witch's hat one i don't know i need time to play with it but i think these will cut out the this might not be the right one <laughs> but it'll cut out the border edge so you can make it be a border is what i'm trying to say and it looks like there are five, six of them, so I'm thinking you can either just cut it out as a border or you can cut out the whole strip if you use two. And then you also have a label, a little ghost, three light bulbs, an apple, and some leaves that would go on, on here. So, yeah, I'll have to play with that to see how that works, but I think that's how it'll work. Plus, you have the witch's broom to stamp also. Where is that? Oh, no, that's the spider. I'm sorry. That's the hanging spider. Duh. Anyway, really cute. Also, some nice border strips. and Or you can just stamp them right under your card. You don't have to cut them out. But the dies are pretty cool with it. I kind of like the witch's hat with the spider web there. And the, I like it all. <laughs> I like it all. All right, let me see what I missed in here. That is it for the bundles. Now, I did get um, a couple things. This was not in a bundle. I think, actually, this is in the... No, nope, this is in here. It's called Star Crossed Embossing Folder. I don't know if it was in another suite, but I didn't get it as part of a suite. So let's see if you can see it. Well, I mean, it has half um, like a plaid and half stars. So that'll make some pretty interesting cards. It's in a regular embossing folder. It's not a 3D. 
and so that was standalone and then I think I have some more celebration stuff to show you um except I guess this was celebration too I'm gonna say this was celebration this is called bedazzling six by six inch paper specialty paper it is pretty spiffy how many sheets do we get we get it does have a little bit of an odor you get eight sheets of this but it is really sparkly it has like glitter on it it's it's like a textured paper in the background smooth on the back but definitely there's texture in the background and then of course the glitter woohoo or oranges right marla that would be yeah isn't this pretty so this i think was for a 50 dollar purchase and there's like i said eight sheets i don't recall stamping up having anything quite like this i it has like not i've never seen it with like the background like that with the glitter on top and the background showing through but i haven't been with them that long this is oh this is july guess what guys last week on the second marked my three year stampin up anniversary and it slid right on by me <laughs> three years as a demonstrator yeah that is really pretty and sparkly okay i already showed you the deer paper from the celebration and the penguin paper um but there's another one and there's some other stuff coordinate with the hand penned suite in the um annual catalog i it was not on top on my list but <laughs> i bought enough that i had enough to get pretty much one of each and two of some things of the celebration stuff so basically this is hand penned in in uh, gray and white I think it's gray no it says basic black but it, it looks more gray to me I guess it's gray and black and then we have some stripes and this floral so this is a celebration item i'm not going to quote you whether things are 50 or 100 i'm pretty sure the papers are mostly for 50 dollar order um, and then we have this one there's only looks like there's only the three designs and this one on the other side has the black and white dots but they really look like basic gray to me so that yeah there's only three but there's four of each pattern and of course it's double-sided so that is called beautifully penned and i'm pretty sure you can get that for a 50 dollar order and now more celebration um the only thing i could not get from celebration was the uh host item now we have the sheep now this was one celebration item and the dies were a separate celebration item but they're so cute look at these sheep <laughs> you're amazing so glad it's your birthday i'm surprised they didn't have it's your eue but anyway yeah really cute and a little birthday hat and some grass and then the dies have a fence and a sun and I don't know what that's supposed to be wool or clouds i don't know there's two of them little flag the party hat and a balloon and the three sheep of course so counting sheep which i need to be doing because my sleep is like totally whacked up <laughs> you like the penned bundle thank you Paige. yeah so that's their separate celebration items. Um, I don't remember how much for each. Dyes are usually more, so I'm, I'm not sure. And then I wasn't, this was, these next two were not top of my list, but like I said, I got one of everything. I usually like textures, but I figured I have lots of textures. These are photopolymer, says celebration. Um, 
so you have I don't know ink spots frames are supposed to be frames and I did not get the brush stroke one that was in the last mini so now I have one from celebration so it looks like different brush strokes so that'll be cool yeah. and then there's this one feels like home this is really pretty but it's a lot of detailed coloring I like the image so I'd be inclined maybe to use this with um, the chalk pastels and do a background and then stamp on it or watercolor. But it says, I can't thank you enough. Your friendship feels like home to me. I'm always and forever here for you, missing you. And then a little plant looks like tulips to me. And then some other kind of little viney plant here. Oh my gosh. I can't grow much, right? Thank you but i can grow weeds really well i walked out my door this morning because i didn't get the mail in yesterday and at seven o'clock or something this morning right when the sun was up you know and it wasn't totally wet out um i have this yucca plant if anybody's familiar with yucca and they get these tall stalks with uh hello laura with um flowers on them and they're tall with flowers on right now but the one that's sort of just a few feet outside my door I noticed it has this picky vine all the way up the tall stalk or two of them maybe I don't know I have to go out and pull it so tomorrow at seven in the morning I'm going out now my most favorite favorite thing from celebration and you some of you may know why is delicate dahlias because I have a second channel called dahlia designs jewelry and more i used to grow dahlias i don't anymore well i have one that's coming up that i i don't know why i love dahlias they're so beautiful it is two-step for me to do that and that i don't know but i love this so and it was this was i think a hundred dollar one it's got two stamps in here you know the the fill in and the outline sending heartfelt sympathy you inspire me thank you kindly and oh so happy for you so I had to get that when I saw that I've been waiting for Stampin' Up I'm pretty sure this one was a hundred yes for a hundred dollar you can get it for for free pretty sure yeah exactly right I actually got two <laughs> I got two of them just in case I ruin one or something. I don't know. But um, because I ordered too much stuff. So I think. I think. I'm to the bottom of my stuff. I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. I think that's it everybody. Let me make sure. I don't have anything sitting around here. So what did you think? What's your favorites? What's your favorites out of everything that I showed you or that you might have seen somewhere else? And are you surprised I didn't get the pine cone dyes bundle sets kind of stuff? This paper, this glitter paper is going to be really cool with some of those leaves and stuff too. Yeah, I'm going to be paying for it the next few months for sure. <laughs> Uh, actually, I did just pay for it, but out of personal money, I have to pay back from the business as I get money into the business again. So let me know what your favorites were, if you can remember. I just think that's so cute. But like I said, these are separate. These are all separate. And this is towards, this is going to be towards the back of the celebration brochure when you get it. I don't know. I honestly i think my favorite thing in the catalog was the blackberry um leaves bundle but i don't know i like those whimsical christmas things too oh yeah cindy you should watch the replay for sure the gingerbread yeah that was on my must have too the dahlia one yeah from celebration yeah me too I had to have that one had to have it just had to because I'm a Dahlia girl they don't like me because I don't take care of them good enough and values you have to take care of you have to stake them up 
You have to make sure they have water. You have to dig them up every year. The stockings and the matching dies with the kittens and puppies. You like that the best? I mean, that was really cute, too. Yeah, I had to have that, too. See, that's the thing. I can't pick favorites. I don't know. I like the deer punch and the penguin punch and the penguin papers, too. I like the whimsical trees because of the pinks and mints. I just can't decide. And, of course, I like the kitties and the puppies. Yeah. So I didn't get a lot of the traditional Christmas um, bundles. I got some of the paper from the, what was that called? Um, what was this was the most traditional thing I got and it was called painted Christmas but I didn't get the bundle to go with it <laughs> yeah the penguin oh the penguin yeah the penguin was a must-have for me too and the and the cute Halloween one was a must for me too I don't know so many musts I had some musts so I was kind of surprised that people were saying they didn't like it and you know what I really really love this too I hope I can do it justice See, we have boxes around here, and they look just like that, and they're so cute. They're, they're noisy as all get out sometimes, and they're dangerous to the other animals, but I really like the look of that cabin. I want to live there in the, in the summertime, though, because <laughs> I don't want to have to chop wood. So guess what I have to do now? Yeah, the building is pretty. That was um, Peaceful Cabin. That's a sweet too. And it, it's all, um, the paper for that is like monochrome with silver in it or iridescent, I think it was. I have so much stuff here I have to figure out what to do with now. This is in the new mini coming up. Peaceful Cabin with dyes. So many pretty things. Wait, Laura, do they have dyes to go with the dahlia? Well, not yet, but you know, sometimes, sometimes, and I no guarantee they do not right now. I'll just say that, but sometimes they come out with dyes later, just like they did the shaded summer. Now I can't, I, I can't remember. Let me look something up real quick, because shaded summers in our annual. But the dyes were not available in the annual. So let me see where they are. I don't remember. Um, um, does anybody else know off the top of your head that the demonstrator hunt here? Oh, wait. Here's my celebration thing. They might be a celebration too, but I cannot remember. All right, the penguin paper is celebration. That sparkly paper is celebration. The beautifully penned gray and white. The deer paper. Okay, the sheep are free with a $50. The dyes to go with the sheep are free with a $50. Two separate $50 ones. The textures and frames is $50. These are in the celebration. The dyes, the summer shadows dyes. They're free with a hundred dollars, but they go with this shaded summer stamp set that's in the annual catalog. And then the dahlia is a double stamp set, and that is free with a hundred dollars. And I could not get there is a host set, um, but we weren't able to get that yet. And it's um, it's going to be all sentiments. That'll be free with three hundred dollars for hosting. And also, coming up with that celebration, if you join as a new demonstrator, then there is going to be an extra for signing on. But if you want to get on early, sign on now, you can get some of this stuff early in your starter kit. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I, well, if they ever come out with the dyes to that, just like they did the dyes to this now, yeah, I'll definitely get that too. Um, but I think it'll just be really pretty to stamp it anyway. And honestly, it doesn't look like, well, I might just be inclined to use one of the circle 
dies, see which one might be the closest and, you know, stamp it and then just put it on a circle, something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, that is my haul, everybody. I have to, oh, and I did add to my order another balmy blue because I don't know if you remember my end came off one. My crumb cake because it's running dry. And another glue. I always have to order glue and tape runners and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I have to clean up. I have to make room, clean up, and put away. Get this box out of here so I can walk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for being with me. I was worried nobody would come. So, and I didn't want to show all this wonderful goodness to nobody. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it, everybody. Thank you so much for the thumbs ups. Um, be sure to place orders starting. Well, you can order. Oh, and don't forget, right now, we're having a designer series paper sale for the non-holiday paper stuff. The Sweet as a Peach, the hand penned with the color in it. Um, the Nature's Beauty, the texture one, I can't remember the name of. In good taste, I think. Um, the symmetry one, which I don't have. There's a Christmas one in the annual catalog, which I don't have. But that's all, they're all on sale. There's nine of them on sale. And the Wildcats. And I don't remember how many that is. But there's nine different designer papers that are on sale right now, up until August 2nd. And then August 3rd, you can order from the catalog online. And everybody that had placed an order of $25 or more or two paper pumpkin months with me from March to June, the end of June, got on the list to get a catalog. So if you think you should have gotten one and you don't get it by July, by the end of July, let me know. I have not ordered any catalogs yet, but if people don't get them, I will buy some and send out other ones. So, yeah. So let me know. Sorry, that's bouncing. Let me give it something to look at. The dahlias, the beautiful dahlias. Oh, look at that. That just looks, you can tell how pretty that is. Just, it's a, it definitely looks like a distinctive, right? With the different shading in it. So gorgeous. I love dahlias. I do. <sighs> so I want to see your lists, all of you. <laughs> Email me your lists. <laughs> Uh, my, how I do my list. Did I show you that before? Here's how I do my list. I do it in Excel, right? So I make my list over here. I put the prices, the page numbers and all that. If it's a suite, I list it. And then I put, is it available for pre-order? Most stuff was except that one paper I wanted. And then I put it in priority one, two, and three. And this time, Probably three quarters of the stuff ended up in priority one and only um, now some of those bundles like Christmassy pine needle bundles, they are in priority two. So as soon as I get some of this paid off, I might get one or two of those. There's one of them um, that I thought was OK, but I love the dyes, and, you know, so anyway, so that's how I do it. And then I have to come over here and say, OK. How am I going to pay for priority one? <laughs> and I put it in the columns there, you know, like how much can be re like, I'm really going to have to pay for it. How much is rewards? How much is 50% off item? Cause you know, if you place an order over 450, you get a 50% off item too. And then of course, as demonstrators, we get a discount. So how much is going to come off of that as a discount? And then how much will shipping be and tax? And this is what I'll approximately I'll owe. And it's pretty close usually to what uh, Stampin' Up! says. Except if something's not available, like that paper wasn't available. And um, I think I took off a stamp set and added a different one or something like that. So it kind of changed it. Anyway, have a wonderful, what is today? Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. It's Friday. Um, back on tomorrow with a video for 10 on the 10th. And then on the 11th, I'm back with embellishments on the 11th. 
I haven't done that one yet, so I don't know what I'll be making. The 10 on the 10th this time will not be stamping up because I didn't have all this goodness in time. Um, yeah. And then I'm back on my other channel for Joy of Blue on the 12th, which will be jewelry. And then I think the next one after that is the 15th for Craft Our Stash Cards. And also Passion for Purple, which will also be on my other channel and jewelry. Thank you. You have a great weekend, too. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I'm just rattle, rambling on here. Be safe. Oops. And there we go. All right, everybody. Bye.